good afternoon everybody i am dr suchit tamboli from ahmednagar and i have done my phd in developmental pediatrics as well as i am uh, fip of indian academy of pediatrics and working as a developmental pediatrician since last 31 years so today we are going to see autism awareness actually has to be increased because nowadays cases have increased and most important is that we do not know what causes it because many uh, parents uh, have that in mind that why it has happened so that is very important so current research indicates that anything that can produce structural or functional damage to the central nervous system can also produce the condition of autism there are some theories which have been put forth like certain viruses has been claimed there it is a known genetic condition or families that have more than one child with autism around 10% of all cases accounted for genetically transmitted but not more than that and actually there are different factors and multifactorial uh, disease and it is but important thing is that it is not caused by an unhappy home environment both parents working mental stress during pregnancy poor handling by the mother and emotional trauma or other psychological factors this is very important to remember that uh, because parents are very very about all these things and they always blame these uh, factors but autism is not caused by all these uh, psychological factors so you cannot uh, cause a child to become autistic that is the sentence you should remember so what is autism there is trial or impairment there is a language and communication uh, problem that is impairment of language and communication deviant language communication verbal and non verbal there can be a social or impaired uh, uh, actually uh, social uh, uh, abilities are impaired uh, or it is deviant or extremely delayed social development or there can be restricted repetitive and stereotype patterns of behavior interest and activities so these three trial of impairment like language uh, communication social and uh, restrictive and repetitive activities is important the regression is between 12 to 18 months that is language regression means many times that uh, parents tell, uh, tell us that uh, he was uh, actually uh, uttering some words and now he has forgotten that so that is very common history of reversal uh, of uh, development is, uh, is seen in autism so there are some clinical features which are very important uh, actually onset is before 3 years of age and impaired ability to develop normal social skill with lack of eye contact gesture and facial expression often do not engage in pretend play so they usually Uh, actually, uh, when we ask that uh, whether uh, the child uh, was having pretend play like uh, um, uh, playing with the dog or uh, um, uh, actually um, uh, feeding the dog, uh, but they uh, usually tell that there is no pretend play. We start before the age of two, and delay in or failure to acquire speech. This is very common complaint uh, with which uh, these uh, children present. Young children with autism. also have deficient comprehension and communicative use of speech and gesture and intrusive stereotype and sensory experiences usually what are the red flag signs that if the child does not babble by one year of age does not point to object or people by one year of age does not make meaningful gesture by one year of age does not speak one word by 16 months does not combine two words by Two years, speech which is not understandable by two years does not respond to name. Loss of language or social skill like we have seen, and decreased use of non-verbal behavior during communication. That is eye to eye giving or facial expression or body exposure uh, gestures. That is very important. So, what are the early red flag signs for social function? There is poor eye contact, doesn't smile in reciprocation, doesn't seem to. know how to play with the toys they usually prefer uh things than the toys that uh, they they will play to the actually uh, all the material which is there in the kitchen 
but they will not play to the uh, with the toy. They only excessively line up the toys or other objects. It is attached to one or uh, one particular part of the toy or object. And absence of joint attention is again very important. And does not share enjoyment, interest, or achievement with the other people. So uh, while looking into the red flag, there is decreased interaction with the peers or friends. They does not play with the toys appropriately. Fixed pattern of interest lines things up or a moment pattern and demonstrate echolalia. So they uh, use uh, same words again and again. And there is hyperactivity, which is again very common symptom. Then there are other symptoms are also there like hyperactivity, impulsivity. What is impulsivity is acting without thinking. Then short attention span, aggression, causing self-injury, temper tantrum, unusual eating or sleeping habit, unusual mood or emotional reaction, lack of fear or more fear than expected, unusual reaction to the way things uh, sound or smell, they can uh, follow their shadow also. This is again very uh, commonly seen. And unusual response to touch, smell, sound, sight, and taste and uh, feel, which is again a, a common symptoms in uh, autism. So they might have abnormal eating habit or eat non-food items like dirt or rocks. Here, important to remember that all symptoms may not be present in one child. There are few symptoms present and few may not be present. So actually, uh, they might laugh or cry at an uh, unusual time or they show no emotional response, which is again very commonly seen. So the difference uh, in the development is very important in this uh, autism spectrum disorder children. They develop at different rate in different areas. They may have delay in language, social and learning skills and they might be very good at putting puzzles or solving computer problems. But they might have trouble with the social activities like talking or making friends. That is very commonly seen. And these children may learn hard skills before they learn an easy one. For example, a child might be able to read long words but may not be able to tell you what sound B makes. Or child develop at their own pace. So it can be difficult to tell exactly when a child will learn a particular skill. But there are eight specific developmental milestones used to measure the child's social and emotional process in the first two years of life. There are some misconceptions, like uh, there is absence of no eye contact. So look at or through you, but uh, eye contact has no social purpose. Then are not affectionate. Uh, they do not talk. They, there is no uh, treatment available. So actually, the there is treatment available if it is diagnosed early and there is intervention done which is intensive and the diagnosis should be between one and a half years to two and a half years which is again very uh, important age for diagnosing autism. Then child can outgrow out of it which is uh, actually a misconception because autism is a lifetime di diagnosis. So uh, actually while assessing these uh, children with autism. Medical assessment, developmental assessment is very important and assessment of functions, so that is level of the child is again very important. Then there are, in, what are the investigations? No specific investigation, no CT scan, nothing. Important is that 90% of cases of autism, there is no identifiable cause, it is a multifactorial and no prenatal or carrier test, uh, diagnostic test is there. So how we can diagnose them? It is a clinical diagnosis. And children have to meet certain criteria which are based on developmental and behavioral characteristics before we can give them a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. So there are no specific investigation and investigation should be directed towards medical disorder because associated problems can be there like uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or uh, with autism there can be learning disorder so that can be diagnosed. So 10 to 14 percent of cases have identifiable medical disorder and remaining cases there is no identifiable cause. There is no prenatal or carrier state diagnostic test which is again has to be remembered. 
So what are the DSM five criteria, which is again very important? It's currently or by history we must meet uh, criteria to call it as autism. There is deficit in social communication, social interaction across the context and not accounted for by general developmental delay, and deficit in social emotional reciprocity, non-verbal communication behavior, deficit in developing and maintaining relationship as well as there is stereotype activity like repetitive speech or adherence to the routine ritualized and non-verbal uh, specific patterns of non-verbal behavior or excessive resistance to change highly restrictive fixed interest hyper or hyper reactive to sensory input or unusual uh, interest uh, in uh, sensory aspect of environment and Important is that symptoms must be present in early childhood, but may not become fully manifest until social demands exceed limit capacity. So symptoms together limit and impair everyday functioning, which is again very important. So specify with or without intellectual impairment. This is again very important because many times what happened that autism uh, is there, but if it is a high intelligent child which is having autism. Then the problems are less, but the child with uh, moderate mental retardation or severe mental retardation, then the problems will be more. So associated with known medical and genetic condition and any uh, comorbid condition also should be uh, looked for. So severity should be looked for. Then it is a level one care which require only support, or level two care which require substantial support. Or level three where require very substantial support like all therapies and all. So actually, what are the recommended modes of uh, management? There are many treatment. Most important is that behavior and communication based approach, occupational and sensory integration therapy, speech and language therapy, and role of medicine is limited to the uh, autism with ADHD or there are uh, autism with epilepsy. So such type of condition, uh, medicine uh, plays very important role. So I think uh, to summarize, it is uh, autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder, and uh, we must uh, actually uh, know that there is a triad of impairment: that there is language and communication impairment, social impairment, and restrictive, repetitive, and stereotype pattern of behavior, interest, or activity. And that is what uh, is important. We have to diagnose it uh, from one and a half years to two and a half years, which is very common age. And nowadays we know new condition, virtual autism, where actually mobile is shown to that child around eight to nine hours per day. We, we are actually uh, getting many cases uh, where mobile is shown by the parents at age of uh, six months also. So that is very wrong. And up to two and a half years, you should not show mobile at all. And after two and a half years, to, till five years, only three hours per week. And five to ten years, one hour per day for five days. And uh, at, after the uh, Saturday, Sunday, you can uh, give two hours. So mobile means all media, television, laptop, and everything. So that is that should be the that is recommendation by WHO and UNICEF. So I think that is very important that you try to avoid mobile and uh, all other things and diagnose autism early so that you can get good result uh, by managing them. Thank you very much for uh, patient listening.